So, you want to grow yourself some weed, but you don't know where to start. And you want to be a billionaire botanist like your boy, Ribby. Welcome to Green Magic Gardening, the people's channel. I am going to take you through an entire grow peaceful grow, guys. Most simple grow, best grow a beginner could start with, guys. You want to start growing? You don't know where to start. You don't know what nutrients. You don't know anything, really. Guys, this is the perfect grow for you. www.growpeaceful. You go onto their website, guys, and you order a bucket like this. It comes with the seed. There's all kinds of different strains, right? comes with the seed comes with the soil with all of the built-in nutrients in it all you have to do is water it you don't even have to ph it you can just let the water sit out overnight and just give it that it is the most simple way to grow for a beginner guys like you'll have success doing this it's pretty freaking simple and spring with spring here what better time to grab like a hundred of them and put them outside but uh yeah you can have some really good success with this guys so yeah go on to www.growpeaceful.com and please if you're ordering use my code green magic one word don't forget to use the code guys it's the only way they know i sent you and you'll save 10 percent. you want to save that 10 percent, guys so enjoy the video this is my next one yeah you get a little sneak peek at it guys we're going to have a three-part series coming for the next one. But uh, enjoy the video, guys. Here you go. Well, here we are, guys. We got the bucket opened. The good old gelato runs to grow peaceful. www.growpeaceful.com Get your seed. Eat your little seedling. Now, put the pointy side down, guys. Point the side down. Now this is what I do. I'll usually just set it there like that, right? Now, yeah, that's right. The pointy side is facing down. Now, I'll do this. Come on. Oh, you know what, guys? I have to moisten this first, that's why. Get, get yourself some water. pH at 6.5, just normal tap water. You can leave it sit out. Make sure, actually make sure you let it sit out overnight. It's better to pH it to rate to 6.5, is what I like to do, guys. You don't have to, apparently, but I think you'll get better results pHing it to 6.5 on the button. Let that soak in a bit now, and I'll do the same thing with the pointy side down. The pointy side down. There we go, now watch. Perfect. I'll push it in there like that. And then I try to get some stuff that's a little dustier. So there's no big chips blocking it. And when it comes up, if it comes up with the shell on it, guys, I will show you what we do. There, now you're gonna water in a little more. Get yourself a turkey baster, it really helps. Perfect, guys, perfect. Now we will be back. Well, let's go throw her in a home. I'll show you where we're gonna put her for now, at least. Oh, wow, yeah, oh, I forgot I gotta clean this tent. That is disgusting, guys. Uh, changing plans for now. You know what, it, these gotta veg out anyways for a while, like, so you know what? We could just leave it in here for at least the time being under the SC7000. Spider Farmer guys, they're one of my they're my main sponsor. Code Green Magic if you do get anything Spider Farmer and Code Green Magic if you're buying the buckets. Now we'll be back for day 1. Well, here we are guys. We have a seedling. A sprouting. Oh, look at that beauty. She's just a beauty. That's right guys. We have her under 
the SE7000 at 38 inches from the canopy, 40% intensity. As you see, she's uh, this is day two. So she came up the other day. Now uh, she finally opened right up. Remember guys, if it comes up with the shell on it, you gotta crack it, pull the shell off and make sure the membrane is off so the leaves can open up or they will die. So there you go, you got your first part done. Your seedling is up. Now it comes time for your first watering. So let's do it. Now, you can take normal tap water, guys, over there. You just take normal tap water and let it sit out overnight and just use that. That is fine if you don't have anything else, but I highly suggest bubbling it with the cheap bubbler overnight and then pHing it to close to 6.5 as you can get. 6.2 is fine, I'm gonna go with that. Anywhere in between six and 6.8, you should be you should be fine. Technically it's soil, it should buffer the pH just fine, guys. You have to be off drastically to like really start to get lockout, which I know from experience. So let's grab some, and we're not grabbing a liter, that's for sure, but let's grab some. Get yourself a turkey baster, guys, or a shot glass. Each one of these I would call a shot glass. Well, let's find out. I've been wanting to check this now. Here's the shot glass. Here's one full squeeze. Oh wow, yeah, we're almost on the money, guys. So right about a shot glass. We got it. Now, I'm gonna go a bit around the base. Just so she gets some water. Oh, sorry right there. I'll do one like that, and then I'm gonna do another one around, and another one, I'll do three, probably. Number three. You know what, I know that's not gonna penetrate that far down in, so I'm gonna give it a fourth one right at the base again. Cause if not, guys, I'll just be back in here watering it right soon again. Number four. Now she's gonna go back in her tent. Fortunately, she's sharing a tent, guys, but I'm gonna make sure she gets maximum light at all times. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this one really, really nice. So yeah, it's a 40% under the SE 7000, guys, at 40% at 38 inches. Lots of air circulation in here. Temperature and humidity are perfect. That's exactly where I like to see it. All is good at day two. Well, there's five million fans going on in the bedroom, so I just brought her out here, guys. She's still under the uh, SE7000. I'll get a measurement and I'll get the um, the the lights at 40% and I'll get a measurement. But uh, seven days. You know, she's growing a little slow, but I think she's on point for seven days. So uh, yeah, we're gonna give her her first full liter of water, guys. I think it's time. There's a lot of soil in this bucket. A lot. It's filled right up. They actually don't come this full, guys. I thought it got settled in, in they do it for a reason, I guess, but I thought it got settled in, in shipping, so I took a bunch of the other one and I filled it like completely up. So if it doesn't come this full, if you order one, don't be all shocked, and this is how they come. I'm gonna work my way around the edges so then them roots will spread out. I know that probably seems like a lot, but it really isn't, and you guys will see, and she'll, she's gonna take right off, but she's a beauty. So easy a monkey could do it. I'm telling you, you guys gotta try these, man. This company's blowing up, man. Like, they are. They're getting a lot of sales, starting to take off, which I'm happy for them. It's a good idea, man. I'm pissed off that I didn't think of this, but I'll, uh, I'll get a measurement. She's right in here, guys. She's got lots of airflow. There's lots of fans going. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can, 
I don't know about this time-lapse camera though. We'll see if I can add some time-lapse footage in. It's not stretching up real quick, so it seems to be pretty good. So, day seven. Well, three days later, guys, it's been three more days. We're at day 10. Can you, uh, can you believe that? She's like, she shot up and gross, man. And it's drying out way quicker than I would have ever imagined. Like, that leader, like, you would almost think that leader would have been, like, overkill for, like, I said, no, man, we're gonna go more than the leader, guys. Like, um, it's soil, right? So you can give it a good drenching, and then give her a few days in between. It's not like the pro mix, like, I gotta keep that, I like to keep that stuff moist all the time, like that, right? This stuff, no, man, just, you know, every few days, guys, just look down. If it's dry like that, you need some more. So, start feeling the weight of it, right? I can't do it with one hand, it's too big, it's got too much in it, but uh, get feeling the weight and you'll just, you'll know, and watch how much she'll shoot up in growth after we give her two liters today, and I'll come back in three or four more days and she'll be freaking way bigger. Still under the spite of farm, I'm trying to not show the other plants as much, guys, because this is just, we're just focusing on this grow, right? But yeah, she's a beaut so far, she's a beaut. So yeah, 6.1, we're gonna just give it a little bit because if I just let it bubble for a while, it'll probably raise up a little bit more before it totally stabilizes. So I'm gonna give it another five minutes and see what happens. And if not, I'm gonna just give it a couple speckles and bring it up a tad. 6.4 guys, we're good to go. So I think we're gonna go with two. We're gonna just focus around, concentrate around the edge. Well, and there you have it, guys. I know it's going to seem like a little, it seems like a little hardcore, but watch. Three days, I'll be back, and she'll be just beautiful. Day 14 has arrived, guys. Man, every time I grow, every time I grow one of these buckets, like, they take off so fast that I literally have to go and look at the timestamps. And um, I'm even tempted to put like actual screenshots of the timestamps in so you guys know like it's like man i would look at this and be like 14 days bro really how the hell 14 days 14 days haven't watered it since the last watering guys look at that was a little hardcore in the watering but nothing came out the bottom so look at that guys wow man Whatever all they're putting in this, it works well. It really does. So day 14, guys, I'm really impressed. I said spend four more days and look at this thing. Look at it. Like, I'm hitting this one out of the park. This is definitely the best one I've done to date, guys. So soil's a lot different, man. You could just like hammer it and come back in almost a week and the thing is just I've done nothing to it, guys. If you're a beginner and you're worried about botch and you're grown, you don't wanna, and you wanna actually have success, like, I don't know what else to say, guys. It's so simple. You guys are gonna literally see every watering, every leaf I pull off. Look at that, like, man. And you guys have seen everything I've done. Now, if you can't do that as a beginner and have success, I don't know what to tell you guys now this is what you should be doing if you're like I said if you're trying to build some skills up and you're worried and you know you want to just get the hang of things and you want to see how it works there you go guys there you go www.growpeaceful.com and make sure you use my code so many people go and don't use my code man you're gonna save money and i highly recommend them guys i really like this so this is looking promising man gelato runs looking promising so yep there you have it guys day 18. well we're back four more days later guys this is what eight days i swear to god i haven't given it a drip of water i swear to you like you guys know i would not i'm I don't even know how this thing can go so long. It's still moist. Look at that. You can literally hammer this thing until it's about to have runoff and leave it for up to two weeks. 
And look at the immaculate health. I, I don't even know what to think at this point, guys. Clearly, I had the settings wrong and the watering a little off on the last ones because of this one. Is it day 22? It hasn't even started flowering, which is good. It's freaking huge. And like I said, I haven't done nothing to it, guys, at all. So it kind of it's hard to make content because there's really nothing to do. So I'm just like, I don't know. It is what it is, but I highly recommend you guys try these, man. You got to try it at least. It's pretty freaking awesome, man. Day 22, and I'll be back. I don't know when I'll be back because look at the moisture in there, guys. Oh, it's just, I can pick her up with one hand now, so... Yeah, two more days, I think. And uh, it's only, what, 12 days or 10 days? 10 to 12 days in between waterings. Pretty freaking wild, guys. Day 22, and I will be back. Day 24, we're back. Look at this thing. Holy crap, guys. It's been, what, two more days or something like that? I don't even know. I think, yeah, I think it's been two more days. But it needs water now. I'm telling you guys, I haven't watered it. Like... I don't know how you can have a plant and not water for what? I don't even know. It's been eight days, I think. I believe it's been eight days. Now, the best thing that's going to come in to play here, because this thing's still not flowering. Look at it. It's not even shooting any hairs out. No sign of flowering yet, right? So we don't want to disrupt that. I haven't even taken off these bottom leaves, guys. Right? I want to do as little stress as possible. So what I've been doing is leaf tucking. Instead of ripping these leaves off, bam, you can simply tuck them all under. That's the beauty of autos, and then you don't really have to train it, right? It's going to get no stress at all. Look at tucked. Tucked, tucked, tucked. What the? F it's tucked, okay? And beautiful. Now, those are going to get light. Those, I'm telling you, two days ago were shorter. From tucking it, it's starting to catch up to the top one. Yes, you can top it too. If you wanted to top your auto, you can go ahead and do it. I've done it. It will be fine. Uh, you'll be surprised what autos can do. I know I said earlier in the video I, I hate autos. Like, uh, I shouldn't say that. I, I, they're pretty neat, but the right ones. You gotta have the right ones. This is AQ Genetics. He does have some really good, some really good auto flowers, that I can't deny, you know. But uh, we had a history there, but it doesn't matter. So, they're still really good genetics. We are, it's time to water this thing, guys. It is time to give this girl some water. We got the spider farmer fan blowing up there. This light is up freaking hella high, too. I don't, I can't remember if I got a measurement, but I know you guys are going to want measurements you guys always do it's at 40 percent. i don't see i don't see a need to go any higher because it's in love and life just right there perfectly green no burnt tips like what do they put in this thing man like yeah pretty impressive we are 24 inches from the top of the canopy now let's go get some water guys i was gonna put some fish donker water that i had in some fish dong water but um it's not organic, I don't think, so I don't know what that would do. I'd rather just play it safe and do what they tell you to do and just put water in it. And guys, no, it doesn't hurt to top it up at the end. Few people have been asking me that too. Is it okay if I put some nutrients near the end? Like if I think it'll boost it? Yes, it's totally, totally cool, guys. You can definitely do that. I would recommend having a little bit on hand and giving it a little boost at the end. Why not? You don't have to, but you see how healthy this thing is already. But it doesn't hurt, right? Oh, the medical corner. Whoa. There we go. So that is at 7.4, bubbled. Now, they say you can just do that. You can just throw that in its soil, right? It will um, buffer the pH, and but I don't recommend that, guys. I recommend it. pH it to 6.5 on the button is your best bet. So you get yourself any pH down will work. This is just some cheap generic crap that's from the uh, um, from my local hydro well my most local hydroponic store an hour away, but yeah, hour drive. That should probably do it. 
Well, it dropped it right to 6.4, and you know what? I'm going to leave it for a couple of minutes. I'm going to remove that tentacle and uh, it, make sure it's stable. Look, it already hit 6.5. Give it 10 minutes. It will probably raise to like 6.8. I'll put another speckle in. It will hit 6.5. It'll stay stable there. And then that's when we'll feed her. Well, just like I suspected 6.7, but I said 6.8, so I'm off a little bit, guys. But I could have probably gave it like 10 more minutes and it would have probably been at 6.8, maybe even higher. And if you're gonna use this water tomorrow, check it again, because if you're bubbling it like this, most definitely it will rise, guys. So, and even if you're not, it will rise. Woo! spring around the corner imagine grabbing 20 of those things guys grabbing 20 of those throwing it out in your deck and only having to water it like every maybe four or five days because it's outdoors like it's absolutely it's awesome so yeah with spring coming guys you're gonna want to definitely get on these Well, there's a full three years, guys. So, and I know a lot of people are gonna think that's crazy, there's no way, but I'm telling you. So, there you have it, day 24. We'll be back who knows when. Oh boy, are you guys seeing what I'm saying here? It's been four more days, day 26. Like, this thing is such a beast. It's Every time I open the tent, I shit myself. It's so big, man. It scares the crap out of me. <laughs> it's got me loving auto flowers again. It's so cool. I was worried I was going to... Well, I got to do a good job on this one. So, like, that's what I said. Just the light, guys. You got to have the light optimal. That's it. And as long as you get the light good, you will get results like this. Like, you're not feeding the thing. You're just giving it water. Just make sure the water's on point. And make sure uh, the light's on point. I'm going to get you guys a measurement right now so you guys can kind of adjust accordingly. And we are exactly 24 inches from the canopy, guys, right from the top. At just a hair under, you know, one tick, one tick under 40%. So you can adjust accordingly. The newts are even a little strong, you see that? When a plant starts to do that, guys... That's uh, like she's she's right on the edge of nitrogen. Like not, I wouldn't say it's going to be toxicity, but she's dark. She's taken in as much as she can. Like I said, it's, she's that's about as happy as you can get a plant. Oh no, where where the magic happens? Six point six. That's fine. I'll go with six point six, guys. It will buffer it. It's fine. As long as you're, you know, 6.2 to 6.6, .6, I wouldn't, I would try to stay in between 6.2 and 6.6 .6 for the optimal results. So uh, it don't hurt to switch it up a little, 6.2, 6.3 the next one, maybe 6.6 six the next one, 6.4 the next one, and then it gets a chance to absorb all the nutrients. But yeah, I just been going right close to 6.5 guys and it works great. So at least put your water out to bubble. I And I suggest people, a lot of people are asking me, can they top it up with nutrients at the end? Yes, of course you can. Um, I recommend having some on hand because all genetics are different. Auto flowers react different. Yours might get a lot bigger. I've had some that just get giant. Two of the same seeds. One got ri ridiculously giant and one stayed tiny. So some are going to eat more than others. And you might need a little bit at the end so yes don't hurt to top it up with a little bit of uh nutrients if you want to give it a pk boost at the end i'm not going to i'm just gonna let it go through because i actually had extra soil in mine and i i'm not sure they might be filling them up more i suggest that they should fill them up um high because i'm getting really good results like that guys so anyways, enough blabbing, let's get a leader and feed her. No, oh, but shout out to Green, shout out to Grow Peaceful, man. They well, 
There you go, guys. It took three full liters. Now, this is a perfect guide to follow, too, because if you have a similar setup, you can follow this right to the T. You can put it at the same level of height, like same height. You can put it at the same level of intensity. I show you how much I'm watering it. Now, the first time it went like eight days, and then it's like six days between waterings. Don't be afraid to drench it, okay? It's good. You drench it, it's good for days. Well, look. There's no signs of stressing it out or on. It's the healthiest a plant could be. You're not going to get it any healthier than this. No burnt tips. Not a single streak of purple or anything. That is one immaculate plant. So you're, you've seen how much I water. And you've seen how every how often too. So now these are annoying me. And they're starting to become a problem. I don't want moisture getting trapped under them. So we're gonna remove those. Those are the first leaves I've ever removed. Now guys, I keep tucking these. Now do you see how much these branches, these secondary branches have been able to catch up? And it's almost creating a flat canopy just from tucking because they would be blocked from the light usually, right? From the light, right? The right light, you know what I'm saying. There you have it, guys. Day 26. She is loving life, and so am I. Oh, my God, guys. We are back, and it is day 30 for this thing. Look at it. Oh, my. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Day 30. I got it out on the table. I got it out on the table so we can... Do a little bit of trimming together and i can uh, show you guys it's been four more days man four more days like i don't even <laughs> this is the best one of the best plants i think i've grown to date guys the one one of the most healthiest immaculate plants look at it there's not one streaking of purple i'm blown away with whatever the hell they're putting in this guys oh my god so it needs water today. We're gonna hammer her with like three or four liters. I'll, pro I'll probably just go three full liters on it. But uh, I know she's in flower. She's starting to flower by the looks of it. She's stretching. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of uh, some of this lower stuff, guys. We're not doing a lollipop or anything yet. I'm just gonna get rid of some of the stuff down here. So we don't run into any airflow problems or, well, we're not gonna. Now you see the difference when you get the light setting right? Now you guys can take the light settings from me and kind of try to, you know, and if you got the same, if you, if you got the same setup, which you can easily get, it's not that expensive. And you can uh, follow it to the T guys. So leaf tucking i haven't removed one leaf to defoliate and i'm still not going to until i start to see some actual buds forming because i've just been tucking and look at it, it's literally giving it almost an even canopy guys there's maybe an inch and a half difference like look at that they would be a lot shorter look at that 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 one is the same length as that one that's because i've been tucking all the leaves and you got to keep at it. And boom. Wow, oh, man. I just got a smile on my face. I can't believe. I, I hate autoflowers. I shouldn't say I hate autoflowers. I don't hate them. Autoflowers aren't my thing, I should say. And you got to have good genetics, which AQ has freaking amazing autoflower genetics. Holy, very stable. And you got to have the right genetics. And you got to grow them right, guys. So, boom. Easiest plant I've ever grown in my life and the most healthiest. You know the saying? Do less, less is more. There you have it, guys. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. And that's all we removed. That's it. It's perfect for a beginner to get the hang of that, too. Ooh, we're in the magical corner, guys. And what is that, six, seven, we're at? 
Hmm. So yeah, we gotta bring that down a tad. The good old phosphoric acid. <laughs> pH down. Just cheap pH down, guys, from your general uh, hydroponic store. Three speckles to be exact. Now you get your old beaten wooden stick that grandma would wipe your ass with when you're a kid. Remember that? Ah, I'm not that old. <laughs> I've heard the stories. You, some of you guys watching definitely know that. All right, the old pH tentacle there says we're at 6.5. You guys like the greens magic sign? We got her flashing, running on the old battery pack. Kind of like what my brain's running on right now. So I'm going to give that a few minutes, right? Make sure it's stabilized because it'll go up a bit. Let's go sneak up on the plant, see what she's doing. Dun, 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 don't mind the clothes in the broom. Gotcha! Knew you were up to no good. <laughs> Look at the size of her. Wow. Good time to clean out her tent before she goes into full flower, guys. A little bit of a mess in there, so I'm going to do that right now while we wait for that to stabilize. All right, we got her swept out. Got me a, a wet cloth here to... Better to be clean, guys. Yep, the better be clean if you guess what's stable at 6.5. Let's remove all the tentacles. Oh, later, man. Actually, we're good because, yeah, I'm not even going to be using all that. So let's move her back. See how light she is? I can. Well, I'm getting pretty jacked too, but. So everything's getting a lot lighter. But, uh. I always tell by the weight. So if it feels if it feels like you know if it feels like a one pound weight, then I need to put more more water. So let's get a liter and feed her, and we're good to go, my friends. Let's do this. Well, guys, three liters down the hatch for that girl. So we'll keep notes right over here when needed. It's pretty freaking cool. I'm going to get a measurement of the light right here. We've had it a hair. I'm keeping it a hair over 40%, guys. It was a hair under. Now we're going to go. I'm going to go right to an even 50%. I believe she's going into flowers, so... You know, we'll see. We'll adjust accordingly, and I'll get a measurement, and then I'll leave you guys until the next update. We are 20 inches from the top of the plant, from the canopy, guys. And you know what? I'm not going to go 50%. It's better to play it safe than sorry. Everything's on track going amazing, so let's not make too sudden of changes. We can always go up slowly. So, yes, day 30, guys. Whoa! My style is impeccable. My plants are in Pregnable. I'm ferocious in this garden. I will tear your heart out. That's right. Every time I open this plant, every time I open this, it scares the crap out of me. Like I said, this plant is ferocious. It's a beast. But guys, it's been two more days. I just wanted to check in really quickly here. I didn't even get a measurement last time, did I? We are 24 inches from the canopy, guys, and we are a hair over 40%. Just a hair over, guys. You see that one little ticky tick thing there? You go to that. This plant is so amazing. It even got its own board. It, it deserves its own board. www.growpeaceful.com, guys. Code green magic. Now, what I did was, to even it out, I put on the old bud clip. First pin comment, too, guys. You can get your bud clips. Code Green Magic for those, too. They're, they're a must. They are a must to me. I will not grow a single plant without these now. I'm not even kidding, you guys. I'm not sponsored by them. I got a code because I wanted a code. Any company will give you a code. But, guys, these bud clips, man. Yeah, like, they're a must. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a whole bunch more because I need a whole bunch more. I got the bud cups now too. So um, I put this on, right? And then this grew back up straight. Now today I just moved it up a little more. 
And now you see how all the secondaries become main branches. Now tomorrow this will be facing up guys and it will be perfect. Now you're probably asking yourself, why does this thing look like a monstrosity? What the heck did you do to it? Guys, leaf tucking. I still haven't took any leaves off but the ones you've seen under here. That's it. I've been tucking like crazy guys. Look at all the leaves that are tucked. I know it makes it look weird, but look at every top is getting light. Like this plant is just immaculate, man. I'm really excited with this one, guys. Like I said, I don't, I wasn't caring for autos, but after growing this, this is a must try, I'm telling you. I'm loving this, man. So there you are. Two days later, I just wanted to show you the leaf tucking how important it is and how many sites you can actually open up and how even of a canopy you can create by simply leaf tucking. Well, guys, we're back the very next day because she needs some water. Look at this thing, guys. It's really dry when I could pick it up with one hand. Yeah. So we're going to hit it. Um, I'm probably going to give her four liters, guys. Um, I've been hitting her with four liters couple of times I believe now and uh, you don't even get runoff so four liters will be perfect she's really going through it now she's most definitely in flower getting her stretch on now while we're here perfect time to remove some leaves now and as you see that's moved back up starting to go back up um let's see all right we got we got some stuff in there block this big one can go i don't want to go too crazy that can go all these big ones oh that's strong i was going to give it a hit of silica today but you know what i think we're just gonna stick with the plain water oh, get rid of these so that i can get some light oh that's blocking quite a bit you know what? I think that's it, guys. I don't want to go too crazy, but um, this video is going to be getting long, so let's go get this water and get this girl fed. I kind of want to get rid of that one, but it, I think it'll be worth keeping, to be honest, because it's, it's still getting some light. I'm going to remove that one, too. There. This thing is turning out absolutely gorgeous. And we've stabilized at 6.6. .6. Now let's get a liter and head in and feed her. But first, we'll move the pH tentacle. And we'll move the air stone tentacles. And no, that is not slingshot tubing. It's air tubing. Why would I have slingshot tubing on my... I'm not trying to slingshot the freaking air stones across the room. <laughs> let's do it. Whoa, there you have it. My family of YouTube people. My actual family. You guys are my actual family. Four whole liters, guys. Probably a little bit more. And you know what? Here's a little crazy thing. That's only a four gallon bucket. They're only four gallons. Says right on the bottom. They're actually one gallon smaller than a five gallon pail. So I think that's pretty cool, actually, because I don't think you need quite a whole five gallons. And she takes up a full four liters, guys. And I'm telling you, if you're following this, I'm showing you every single watering, guys. I know it's going to be a long video, but every single watering. So you can follow this. You can get the same one. And this will work pretty much with any one of the auto flowers, guys. They're all pretty much, you know, pretty similar. So you can follow along and you can get the killer results, guys. I'm giving you the measurements, the light, strength. I'm giving you the watering everything you need to know to have a successful grow three days later day 36 guys she's dry already i came open up i'm like what the you know pray you know pray what's going on what's wrong with my girl and so i go and i go like this oh i can pick it up with one arm pretty easy so 
Wow, you're really drinking? Leaf Tuckin's been helping. Look at the bud sites, guys. I, as I did, they, I did an absolutely killer job on this. I love this girl. So we have water pH is 6.4. We're going to smash her with three liters, guys. That's right. So let's get it. The magical corner where the magic cabins with the blue lamp guard. You see that? 6.4, guys. Grab a liter and we'll head in to feed her. Well, I lied. That's four whole liters, guys. She can take it. I None will even come out of the bottom. And I'll be back in another two or three days. She's drinking really quick now between waterings. So day 36, my friends. Well, we're back at day 52. We're skipping ahead here, guys. Because I didn't want to remove these. But, guys, it just makes way more sense to to balance the plant out much, much better. Oh man, let me use my other hand guys. What a hack job, <laughs> guys. Don't do what I do, actually, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we gotta get rid of more. So that's gotta go. I don't know why I didn't just use these in the first place. These are my nice clean T and B ones. They're the same ones as um, the green Saudi trim tray. Exact same, just with the T and B logo. So I can't really say anything special about these. Um, now I wanna remove the odd thing like that. Finally, we get to do some work on this plant, guys. Let me use my other hand so I can get rid of some. Hmm. I got that on there because that I broke that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to leave that. These are getting fat. And look at them, guys. And look at the trichomes already, too. Pretty impressive strain. Pretty impressive plant, man. It's doing really well. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that little scraggler. Um, just want to open it up a little bit. See that? It's not gonna do that much in there. You're moving the inner one so then the light can penetrate down in. If that makes any sense, guys. But I want to go really easy on this one. Like, you guys know I've went a little hard in the past and uh, it doesn't seem to have been working out for me. I seem to be. Pretty shitty results with the last few autos. So we're gonna try to try to do it a little different this time. And not remove every single big big leaf. You see that? How that goes all the way up in there, right? It starts down there, goes all the way up. It's not gonna do crap in there. It's not going to get any light, and then it's going to block other stuff from getting light, if you, if you know what I mean. Like, that one can come out too. And you know what? I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do, guys. And uh, I'm going to get up here. Oh, I already gave it one liter of water too. One liter of plain water. Yeah, you can see she's getting hungry. We're going to have to top her up. It's not a big deal if you don't have nutrients on hand, guys. You shouldn't be growing if you don't have some sort of nutrients. But uh, it doesn't surprise me I got a top her up. She's huge. And in my environment, things seem to go so fast. But imagine that. Like, it got all this growth from just what's in there, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm honestly really impressed. And most people make it all the way through. So I don't know why I seem to have bad luck. But uh, it's, well, it's not really bad luck. It's, it is what it is. I'm actually kind of happy that I get to feed. But uh, yeah, there you go. I'm going to throw her back in. Oh my God, this cat <laughs> doesn't stop, man. Oh my God, guys. It's driving me insane. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Look at that. I'm going to hit her with two more liters of water, guys. And look at that, though, man. They're dense, guys. Like, I'm really happy with how the buds are turning out. So...
There you have it, a day what do I say, 53, 52. Well, we're back at day 60. Look at this sucker, man. I'm really liking this, guys. I'm really liking this auto. Wow. I told you I would try to do a lot better on this one and actually put some time into this one and give it its own tent and its own... And they're dense, guys, everywhere. They're dense. Look at that. Look at that. What a beast. What a beast. Oh, yeah, she's hard everywhere. Look at the nice pink coming out. Ooh, yeah. I didn't go crazy on the defoliation like I did last time, which probably wasn't, uh, was probably the reason why it stayed so airy and, um, the buds didn't harden up. They just couldn't take in enough energy. But yeah, look at that, man. Day 60, guys. We're so close now. We're going to hit her with some water. She needs a good four liters. Must have been getting the water in pretty damn perfect <laughs> for uh, to not run into any issues. Oh, here we are. 6.3. It's been bubbling. I think that's fine. That'll be just fine, guys. We'll go with that. Good to go. Let's get a liter and head to feed her. Yeah, and I think when this one's done, I'm going to be doing a three or four part series on one. So it'll be like more episodes. Well, four liters, guys. She took it all. We might get a little runoff. Yeah, we're getting a little bit coming out the bottom. That's okay. That's okay. You know, it'll, it'll suck it back up. I always give her four and she goes bone dry. Been keeping the light at 60%. I don't think we need to go any higher than that, guys. And uh, I've been dropping the temps a little bit. So I think that's why you're... Seeing the colors come out, but what a beauty, man. It's a nice, nice auto flower. Look at the size of that. That's the 24 by 24, so yeah, guys, 60 days in, baby. Whoa, <laughs> we're back at day 69, guys, of all days. I didn't even know. I just checked it. I'm like, it's done. She's done. I can't let her go any longer. She is good. This is definitely one of the nicer auto flowers I've grown. This plant here is making me a little bit more of a believer in auto flowers, guys. Like I said, I don't say that I don't think auto flowers are totally crap. I just think photo periods are photo periods so much more superior. But um Yo, this is badass, man. I'm doing. I'm. I'm growing another one. I'm starting another one. I'm gonna keep growing hodls, guys, and maybe I can. Uh, maybe they'll make me a believer. After all, I started out growing hodls, guys. It's just like, I don't know. Everyone has their preference, right? But um, I see why people love them, man. They are. They're cool. They're fun to grow. Like this grew fast, so easy. God, this is like a beginner's dream right here. You guys seen the video? If you can't do this as a newbie, even then, like following this, go and get the same one. A lot of runs. Follow my schedule, like what I did, or with any of their autos, and just bam, and you'll get results, guys. Might not be insane results, but it'll be good enough. You're gonna be freaking happy, man. Look at that sucker. You guys a good look. It's dense too. Like this has to turn out to be a much better yield. It has to. This night and day compared to my last ones when I actually put time into this, like I, the last ones guys are really neglected and they're all over the place and just wherever I could fit it in. When I gave it its own tent, its own attention, bam, look at the difference. Faded perfectly guys, absolutely perfectly. I topped it up one time and you know, it, think about it. How, how all autos grow different in everybody's environment, right? So the time the nutrients absolutely perfect, very very hard to do, right? It just finished up 
it was at the point where I was like, man, I don't think it's going to make it, right? But I keep, I don't keep in mind how fast these things finish. And I'm like, shit, yeah, they finish so much quicker, right? I'm so used to photos. But yeah, man, good job, Grow Peaceful. Good freaking job, man. They got themselves a product here, man. A lot of people are growing these. It's awesome. It's really good to see you. Anyways, enough blabbing on. I'm excited for this. This is freaking cool, man. Uh, let's chop the sucker down. All right, I'm going to start trying to use a tripod a lot more now, guys. Um, you know, people do complain. I'm like, oh, you need to learn how to video. You need to take a course on videography. <laughs> it's like, guys, it's hard. I make a lot of videos, man, and I'm in a cram space. Like, how do you have always set up a tripod, right? It's really, it's hard. But I'm going to work on that, guys. Oh, yeah. She's got some ways to her, but I still feel like I can do a lot better. And you gotta, and that's only four gallons of soil too. So man, that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go hang her in the bathroom, guys. It's so easy. You just leave it like this, right? Get yourself a hanger. And I will be doing gigawatt next. So, yeah, guys, I'm always going to be working on a seed to harvest of these. Uh, I love these. Uh, this grow peaceful bucket. I love doing these grows. They're just awesome. They're so easy. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. Holy, it's bending this. That's got to be three ounces this time, guys. At least, you would think, right? So, depending on how it dries, we'll see. You know. You guys know where I hang it. I'm going to go hang her just like this, right in the bathroom. And the seven to ten days will be good. What I do, guys, do this. Bend the branches. It don't matter if you break them now. Then it's not creating a little, like, um, micro... What do they call them? Oh, man, I'm always coming up blank here. It doesn't create like a bunch of humidity in between the plant, a little microclimate or whatever. And um, I bend them all out. It's just so they're not touching as much, right? You can cut it in branches and hang in branches if you prefer that, but don't do the wet trim thing, guys, I'm telling you. You'll have way better chance. Now, these leaves will dry over it and they'll cup over and it will extend the drying time, right? It'll keep the moisture in it. It's just way better. What a fade, too. It's going to be some nice taste in autoflower, guys. I just have a feeling this is going to be nice. And there you have it. I'll be back with the dry weight. Maybe a bit of trimming. And uh, I'll get this up for you guys. Freaking hell yeah. So, what I did, guys, was I took... I went in and I chopped all... You guys know how I do it. I just hold the tray under and I chopped every, every bud whole. And then, it was that one right there. I just chopped everyone whole... And then I went to town. I forgot to get some trimming footage, but you guys know it's the same thing over and over. This is what's left. Well, I could actually still get a bit out of that, but now look at that, guys. That's badass. So we'll get a card and we'll get that cleaned up too. All right, guys. So. Wow. Holy. I didn't think it would be that much. So off of just that one auto and you get that much, that much freaking trichomes too. Into my trichome bag. I think there's like 24 grams or more there guys. So one handed, look at the color of those. They're nice. Imagine the block of hash I can make out of that. All right, that's good enough. Let's weigh, the, let's just weigh the crystal. Now, the bag is two grams, okay? Holy man, 37 grams of trichomes. 37 grams of pure trichomes. That's awesome, man. I'm going to keep saving, guys. Green Saudi trim tray. If you're going to get one, get the green Saudi one. I don't have a code. I'm not affiliated with them anymore in any way, but they're awesome.
And dun dun dun, the final product. Now guys, now that I know what was going on, that that SF-1000 is shot, no wonder I did so much better. Oh baby, 20 grams weighs the bag. I don't even know what's here guys, I don't even know. What does it say? Oh, what? It turned off. Hmm. 113. I, there's probably three or four grams um, for sure missing out of this, but I'm not even going to count that, guys. Let's just say, so what? So 113. So 100 minus 7. 93 grams guys so what three and a half ounces almost holy shit balls they're all pretty well the same size look at the trichomes on that though it's hard to tell you to explain the smell it's uh it's still not as potent as like the nanas or anything like that it's not uh it's not on that level but oh you can't really hear that but it's really dense guys i am actually happy with this this is at the level where people are going to want it to actually. Look at that. It's all turned out like that. Three and a half ounces, man. Wow. I'm very happy with that, guys. And there you have it. You too can do it just by following this guide. It is that easy, guys. Make sure you're dropping a comment. Make sure you're dropping a like. Hit the subscribe button. Love y'all. I'll see you guys below.